We have had a brief introduction in layouting within ARCHICAD. Um, I also want to give you a brief overview of how InDesign or how to get started in InDesign as well. Because of course sometimes there's other content that you want to put in a, in a layout and while ARCHICAD certainly um, allows other media to be imported and displayed as well, um, especially when it becomes a, a multi-page document or like something like a report that has some design elements in it. Archicad can quickly become quite clunky if there's a lot of um, external sources in there as well. And maybe, as you have noticed, when you do export the PDF in Archicad, if you're working in a um, student license, um, there's a little watermark on the top of the page saying that you are working in an educational version and maybe that thing actually bothers you and you want to relay out all the all the work that you're doing so when you're opening up InDesign um, this normally there's a, a window popping up letting you select if you want to start new or you want to open up a file that you've been previously working on but let's just open it here um, on the file new there's document there's a few different options, um, but we'll start looking at document, which is also the shortcut um, command N here on my Mac. So when you open that one, you have a few options. And there's a there's a quite important um, distinction. Um, one of them is between print and web. One thing that you will notice, let me quickly double check where it's popping up. Um, I don't even didn't even realize it's not visible in here, but um, when we are printing, our printers are set up with a with a CMYK color setup. So that means your printer will print in cyan, magenta, yellow, and black. Whereas our screens, when we produce something for uh, a web media. Our screens are working on RGB, so red, green, and blue. It's a different kind of color code. So in the beginning, make sure that you get the right setup. And then, of course, you can choose um, some of the presets that are already available, some of the um, sizes of paper that you know. But of course, you can also change it and customize it over here. Um, let's just give it a, um, a title. It's our test file, whatever you want to call it. You can change the orientation, um, landscape, portrait, whatever you want to um, work with. You can also change the units. Um, you know, let's assume you're more comfortable with centimeters. You can switch it around and let's assume you want to have an A3 rather than an A4 um, paper. So the height would now be 29.7 centimeters and the width is 42 centimeters. In that landscape orientation, happy with it. Pages, you can also already input here the number of pages if you know, oh, I'm going to have to do an eight page report. Why not start here? And then you also have the option of unticking or ticking the option of facing pages. Um, what That one will set up your document um, either like a book, so two pages next to each other, or if you untick it, it's now it will be one page after the other um, within the setup. We're quickly going to look at how it looks like with facing pages. Um, we'll go through um, the tutorial in that way. There's some a bit more advanced um, settings, like at what page number do you want to start? So let's assume those A pages are part of a much bigger um, document. You could actually set it like, oh no, it's starting at page 20. If that is important to you, um, there's some, some more text-based options. Usually I don't set them up in the beginning. Um, maybe I'll, I'll just do that in a later, at a later stage. And then also um, the margins, which is like these kind of borders around it. Those are not going to be visible. That's more like a, a guideline for you that you make sure that you're not positioning information, text or anything that needs to be legible too close to the borders of your page. Um, these are kind of like uh, printing standards. 
you can just leave them as is or you, you can change them if you want to have something else. As you can see, I've changed one and all of them followed along. That's because they are linked together. If you want to have different um, settings, you can unlink them. You can see that little chain icon is now broken. So you can now change them. So let's assume top margin, you want to have three centimeters. I'll just type in three, uh, tap key, and then it jumps to the next window. Um, yeah, so nothing else. If I want to, you can also um, type in other measurements. Like let's assume I want to have 40 millimeters, and then it'll automatically convert it into those centimeters, the kind of unit that I've set up on the top here. But for now, I think we'll just leave it. No, let's let's keep it open. Let's keep it different, um, just to show you the inside and outside as well. That's one of the differences. If you have facing pages, again, it's like a book. It's two pages sitting next to each other, and they will have an inside border, an inside um, facing pa of your page, and the outside one. And of course, as you know, if you have a a, a book and it has a that that the paper has a thickness and it needs to have a spine, it's bound in some sort of way, and that has an influence. So you probably, to be honest, we probably want to have four on the inside and two on the outside, because you don't want to print things too closely to the spine of your book. So yeah, there's a bit of an asymmetrical setup, which you probably wouldn't have. If I untick that one it'll actually change to left and right because that distinction between inside and outside is not um, not important here. Then down here you can also select bleed. Um, we'll leave that for now. I usually work with bleed in a, in a different way and we'll have a closer look at that when we come to um, exporting options and, and printing and all of that. So yes, I'm happy with all of this. So you can just click create and your document will pop up. As we can see now, it's eight pages, two, four, six, eight, four spreads. Um, and as we had defined, the inside is four centimeters margin and the outside and the top and bottom are two centimeter each. So that's the setup. Um, over here on the right hand side, in that navigation box we can click on pages and we can see the little icons of the pages that we have set up. Let's assume if we want to have more pages um, you can just on the bottom here click on plus and it will automatically add pages to that document as many as you need or again you can click on one of them as you can see you, you can also click on multiple by pressing shift and you can either click on the garbage, on the trash can, or you can also drag and drop them. That drag and drop option also works for um, creating new pages. Um, that is actually duplicating the pages that we already have. So if I'm going to paste some sort of content on here, um, let's make it a bit more visible, it's giving it a, a color on the inside. And now I want to duplicate those two pages. I'll just select them by pushing shift, drag and drop them onto that small plus sign and drop them on there. So yes, they are duplicated now. But of course, we don't really need them, so we'll throw them out. And that's a really good um, warning window popping up, by the way. It tells me that the pages that I'm about to delete actually contain information or elements. So if I want to keep those um, things, because they will be deleted with the pages as well, I can go cancel, save those things, or if I'm happy and aware of it, okay, please delete it anyway. So that's how we set up a document. Um, have a play, have a look around um, what the different kind of settings do, create another one, see how that um, turns out, and just give it a go.